Sessions hiding behind one Mueller informant to block subpoena compliance by Rick Wells for rickwells.us. Deep State Enabler and Protector Attorney General Sessions is using the fear of the unknown. What would happen if Nunez uh, suddenly became a leaker like Mueller and the coup? Corrupt Attorney General Jeff Sessions is once again shielding DOJ and the Obama regime from exposure in their coup attempt against President Trump and their related anti-American activities. In the white hat battling with the Obama planted operative Sessions is the good guy, chairman of the House Intelligence Committee, Representative Devin Nunez. At issue this time is the revealing of a top secret source who has, according to the Washington Post, provided information to the CIA and FBI, and who has also collected information that was handed over to Grand Inquisitor Mueller as part of the witch hunt impeachment document preparation effort. Although Nunez uh, has the highest security classification in Congress, he and his committee are not allowed to see what Sessions and his gang of outlaws are hiding. Someone leaked the informant's existence to the Washington Post, and the content of the information is known to have been provided to the subversive Mueller, as well as hit team of Democrat hitmen and women. Those political hacks can have it, use and misuse it as they see fit but the Congress that provides oversight and constitutionally represents the American people can't be trusted? Or is it that they can't be relied upon to be crooked and to do evil deep state bidding with the information that in their hands it would be used to inform the American people of the criminal enterprise that is the Department of Justice? But it is not only the information that this mysterious source, if he really exists, is reported to have revealed that is critical. The protection that claiming he exists or has delivered protective sensitive information to the DOJ, and that information must remain secret, gives the corrupt sessions, Rosenstein and Mueller, the license they seek to prevent other unrelated revelations by claiming the same sensitive status. If there's something that needs to remain secret, Nunez has no problem in it remaining so once he's been able to view it himself. That is a reasonable precondition given that the DOJ and FBI are more often liars than not. However, he's not being given that opportunity. That is a strong indication that Sessions is, once again, fulfilling his role as the top obstructionist protecting the Obama regime, Hillary Clinton, the corrupt Democratic Party, and the DOJ slash FBI crime syndicate. The Washington Post reported that DOJ and the intelligence community officials had issued a stern warning to the White House opposing compliance with a subpoena from Nunez for records. This is the same DOJ and FBI who previously issued uh, just such a warning against Nunez, releasing his FISA abuse report, which contained no sensitive information whatsoever. Their argument this time around, which was made to uh, White House Chief of Staff John Kelly, was that complying with the subpoena would reveal the identity of the top secret Mueller source, who the Washington Post had outed as being an American and would conflict with protocols regarding intelligence sources. Kelly and President Trump later discussed the issue with Trump reportedly siding with intelligence officials against the release of information. 
although it could prove damaging to the efforts of Mueller. Sessions and the entire coup clique to remove him from office it is not clear whether Trump was told that the information had been shared with Inquisitor Mueller before he sided against its release. Still, Congress is charged with oversight, not the White House, and Nunez is entitled constitutionally to the information. On the following day, Thursday, DOJ told Chairman Nunez that the agency was not in a position to provide information responsive to your request regarding a specific individual. Stephen Boyd, Assistant Attorney General of the Justice Department's Office of Legislative Affairs, wrote, Disclosure of responsive information to such requests can risk severe consequences including potential loss of lo human lives, damage to relationships with valued international partners, compromise of ongoing criminal investigations, and interference with intelligence activities. It can also not risk any of that, particularly when it's being shared with the chairman of the Intelligence Committee. If they're so concerned about leaks, they should not have handed it over to a known felony leaker, Robert Mueller. Those claims are clearly more of the same cover-up from Sessions and his comrades, intended to keep the American people in the dark about the crimes of the Obama regime and those that continue under Sessions to this day. Nunez replied in a statement to the Washington Post that the DOJ is citing spurious national security, uh, security concerns to evade congressional oversight while leaking information to the Washington Post ostensibly about classified meetings. Jeff Sessions, Rod Rosenstein, Christopher Ray, Robert Mueller, and the entire witch hunt staff and other deep state associates need to be removed from office fitted with ankle bracelets and serious investigations launched against them immediately. If that includes contempt hearings and impeachment, someone needs to start setting out uh, the water pitchers and glasses there is no doubt they are globalist criminals and that there are many more of them than there are honest public servants in the various badge and gun agencies, le uh, leadership positions by the Obama regime deep state design. Uh, this, yeah, Rick Wells really puts it in perspective. They're all covering from each other. They're claiming, again, national security risk. And when uh, Nunez had released, remember when they were, what they're saying, when Nunez tried to release the report, they were screaming, uh, uh, it's uh, for national security and this and that. And there was nothing uh, in that report. And here we are. Um, that Sessions is helping the deep state not expose the information, yet they're exposing all the information to Ray uh, Rosenstein and Mueller, the leaker. I mean, you know, it, the, the, this is like really unbelievable. Um, very excellent article. He, he, he says it basically, he says it all. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and again, thank you so much for watching.